Welcome to Wednesday Word. This week's theme is new opportunities. We begin with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The scripture is found in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verses 18 and 19. It says, I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. In this scripture, he's asking us to understand how much God, he prays that we would understand how much God loves us, that it is an incredible, unfailing, unbounding love. And so when I read the scripture, these four words jump out to me. And so that the breadth of his love, his love expands across the horizons. His love is in my future. It's in my plans, whether it be in my career or the relationships that I have with my friends and family, his love is there. When, when he uses the word length, it, to me, it says his love reaches the farthest to comfort us when we are far gone. Sometimes in my life, I found myself alone and lonely and thinking that no one could understand what I was going through, that no one could understand the pain and the hurt that I was feeling. And so his love reaches into those farthest thoughts to comfort us when we're, when we're alone. With the height of his love, it's constantly growing, growing with us as we face new challenges, as we meet new people. His love is constantly there growing, helping us mature, giving us knowledge, giving us tolerance, helping us understanding one another. And the depth of his love reaches down to our innermost thoughts and feelings. In those moments where you think, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the right answer is. And you may, you may want to respond with words of hate or anger or ambivalence where you just don't care. The whatever kind of attitude. His love reaches down into those depths and says, no. We need to resolve this situation. Know that you are loved and that you are not alone. And so I hope that you would remember with today's word that God loves you and that there's nothing that you could do or nowhere you could go that would separate you from his love. Let's pray. Dear Father, help us comprehend in the midst of the storms in our lives your unfailing, unbound love for us. Thank you for all the support and the love you give us. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. St. Benedict, pray for us. God bless you guys and stay safe.